cleanliness. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved cleanliness. His clothes were clean all the time. He always ordered his companions to keep clean. Yes. Jabir ibn Abdullah said, yes. said the messenger of all paid yes. visit, visit to us and saw a disheveled man. Disheveled man whose whose hair was disordered. He said, could this man not find something to make his hair lie down? He saw another man wearing dirty clothes and said, could this man not find something to wash his garments with? Secondly, mustard. Okay, okay. Arhan, finish, finish. So the first okay, uh, paragraph, sir. this is unit number five, and this is lesson number 13, guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam clothing. And uh, uh, we are uh, studying the lesson number 24 for Sir, grade next four. can I read? Islam yet. Uh, Jibrail, let me finish first. Okay. So this is the lesson number 39 for. Uh, lesson number 24 for Islam yet. Grade 4 for non arabs In unit number 5, lesson number 13, this is the, about the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in clothing. So Arhan read it about the paragraph of cleanliness. And uh, in this paragraph, we get to know that Aap Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved cleanliness and, uh, and his clothes were always clean all the time. And he also ordered his companions to keep clean. So he likes uh, clean clothes and he ordered also his companions to keep clean. According to Jabir ibn Hay, Abdullah, uh, he said that the Messenger of Allah, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, paid visit to us. Uh, he's discussing, is sharing uh, one thing, that when uh, uh, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam happened to visit to um, him and he saw a disheveled man uh, whose hair was disordered, like he did not comb. So uh, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said could this not uh, could this man not find something to make his hair lie down that like that's mean uh, why he did not come uh, he did not find anything to make his hair come and the, uh, he saw when another man that is wearing dirty clothes so he said that could this man not find something to wash his garments with so according to this rewaya we can say that Hazrat Muhammad uh, loves cleanliness too much and uh, uh, when, whenever he, he see the man who is having dirty clothes, wearing dirty clothes and uh, whose hair is disordered, so Absal uh, uh, advised uh, him to uh, make his hair, uh, to make hair, to comb hair or to wear clean clothes and he always ordered his companions to keep clean. So, for the next paragraph, that is second, the modesty. All right, Jibrail, start reading. Okay, sir, wait. Why wait? Uh, no, no, no. I, I was uh, nothing. Second, modesty. Secondly, Where, modesty. Said, secondly, modesty. 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 When we look at the clo clothing, when we look at the clothing settle style. of style of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yes. we see that he paid that or the, uh, the, the, the utmost attention to these three I issues issues yes add avoidance of avoidance of ostination 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 avoidance of avoidance of Avoidance of making 
द स्टाइल ऑफ क्लोदिंग मीन्स फॉर शोइंग ऑफ एडोगेंस और ऑफ्टिनेशन टू डेफ इन accordance with the opportunities opportunities and opportunities yes opportunities opportunities and opportunities opportunities listen apart apart opportunities opportunities and opportunities this is so confusing no confusion this is a common algebra i know but chances there i can read and okay. i will read the next there, paragraph i can read okay so i want to read all right mm, that i can who can fahad no sir me 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 matlab sir i want to read i can read Wait for a while, guys. Wait for a yes, while. Sir. I'll give chance one by one. Listen. So, firstly, I'm going to uh, explain the second paragraph. That is, secondly, is modesty. Modesty, you can say simple, right? When we look at the clothing style of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so we see that he paid the most, utmost attention to these three issues. So. Uh, that means whenever we look at the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so we observe that Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are discussed in this paragraph. Okay, so Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are given below. Okay, what that our wife is saying that the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are given below. Okay, what that our wife is saying that the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are given below. Okay, what that our wife is saying that the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are given below. Okay, what that our wife is saying that the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are given below. Okay, what that our wife is saying that the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues which are given below. Okay, what that our wife is saying that the clothing style of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam paid the most attention to some of the issues first you did don't you don't need to read because i'm explaining to all of you right yeah i was reading how did you know because i can hear because you because you was unmute oh i oh sorry okay guys so i was explaining that avoidance of what the ostination does mean he uh, uh, he avoid to show off avoidance of making the style of clothing a means for showing off arrogance or ostination and also he at the moment to most was allah or sallam used to avoid um, the style of clothing as means for showing off and which shows arrogance pride right and to dress in accordance with the opportunities and the condition of society in which he lived and Uh, he used to dress in accordance with the um, conditions of the society, like the um, dresses which the uh, in which society he lives. Uh, the whole the um, people used to wear the dresses, so he used to dress according accordingly. He used to dress in accordance with the opportunities and condition of the society in which he lives. The next paragraph is okay. Fahad, start reading. Fahad. Okay, sir. When we look at the clothing of style of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, we see that he paid utmost attention to these three issues: avoidance of ostentation, yes. avoidance of making the style of clothing a means for showing off arrogance or ostentation, to dress in accord. Dense with the opportunities and the of the society in which he lived, the prophet was modest in his clothes. He dressed rough clothes and clothes made of cotton and wool, and warned us against clothes that refer to pride and conceit. Okay, Fahad, finish. Please close your mic. I can hear background noise from you. Now the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was. But who is iPhone X Max Pro? I think is Ayan. 
All right. So the next uh, uh, thing we learned here that the Prophet ﷺ was modest in his clothes and he dressed rough clothes and clothes made of cotton and wool and warned us against show of clothes that refer to pride and concert. So Hazrat Muhammad Musa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam like simple clothes, modest clothes, and he has dressed rough clothes. And the clothes uh, which are made of cotton and wool. He used to wear the clothes which are made of cotton and wool. And he also warned us against show of clothes. Which clothes? Those, uh, that clothes which refer to pride, okay? Pride and concert. So, this was the meaning of this paragraph. The next paragraph uh, should be read by Tafim. Um, me? Yes, Tafim. Start reading. Anas ibn Malik. Uh, Anas ibn Malik reported, I was walking with the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while he was wearing a Najrani sheet with a thick border. Yes. A desert Arab overtook the Prophet and forcibly pulled his clothes. I looked at the shoulder of the Prophet and I saw that the edge of his shirt had left a mark because of the strength of his pull. Yes. The man said, O oh Muhammad, order them to give me something from Allah's wealth which you have. The Prophet turned and he smiled. Then he ordered that he be given charity. All right. So according to uh, Anas ibn Malik, he reported that I was walking with the messenger of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa uh, when he was wearing a Najrani sheet, um, which is having a thick border. So suddenly a desert Arab uh, overtook the Prophet Sallallahu and forcefully, forcefully pulled his clothes. I looked at the shoulder of the Prophet Sallallahu and I saw that the age of his shirt had left a mark because of the strength of his pull. So the man said, O Muhammad Sallallahu Order them to give me something from Allah's wealth which you have. So while uh, uh, Hazrat Anas uh, Ibn Malik was walking with the Messenger of Allah, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So at that time, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wearing a Najrani sheet, which is having a thick border. So suddenly, uh, a desert, a desert Arab overtook the Prophet, and what he did, he forcefully pulled his clothes. So when uh, Hazrat Anas ibn Malik looked at the shoulder of the Prophet, so he saw that uh, age of his chat even had left a mark because of the strength of his pull. So at that time, the man said that oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa please order them to give me something from Allah's wealth, which you have. So Aap sallallahu alayhi wa replied, turned and his, he smiled and then he ordered that he be given charity and he gave it as a charity. Next paragraph is what was the favorite color of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, Basil, please start reading. Basil, Basil, can you hear me? Is there Basil? Who is iPhone 11 Pro Max? Sir, I think that is Ayan because Ayan is not participating uh, uh, in Sunday, Ayan Monday. Is, uh, no. Whenever the climate period is, he is not participating. Yes, sir. Uh, Basil is here. Yes, he is Basil. Yes, Basil, can you start reading? Yes, sir. Okay. What was the favorite color of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from here? Muhammad was a white with respect to clothing. The Prophet. Check from the screen. Here. Start reading from here. What was 
What, what was the favorite? the favorite color of Muhammad? Yes. The color most pleased oh, to Prophet Muhammad was white with white. Yes. Respect to closing to Prophet. Yes. A man to wear white in. Numerous hadiths. Uh, hmm? Numerous hadiths. Marcel, uh, too much background noise from you. The prophet said, wear white from among us. Yes. Your clothes for instead. For indeed. They are among yes. the best clothes you have uh, should be dead in them uh, or else. Yes, very good. Is one force bigger than the other? Why are why not? Okay, very good. So, what was the favorite color of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The color most pleasing to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is actually white. And with respect to the clothing, the Prophet Sallallahu encouraged men to wear white in numerous hadith. According, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said one time, wear white from among us your clothes, for indeed they are among the best clothes you have, ensured your dad in them also. So, Abu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, wear white, white clothes and uh, wear the white, uh, for indeed they are among the best clothes you have. And they said, uh, he, uh, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that these are the best clothes you have and showed your dead in them also. And uh, for shrouding also you use white color. So, this is the uh, lesson number 30 and this is, this was guidance of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in clothing now take out your notebook we will do some work take out your notebook please hello yes